Hello, crafty friends. My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. Welcome to my stop on the Not Too Shabby Holiday Sparkle 2 Pop and Giveaway. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create today, and find out how you can enter to win a gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Earlier this month, Not Too Shabby released their latest box of the month and stamp and die of the month. Now on the hop today, which I will tell you more about later, you're going to see artists using the box of the month like me and some using the stamp of the month, which let me tell you, it is so adorable too. In front of me is what you get with the box of the month. And as of time of recording, there were still a couple hands full left. I will have the link to the box of the month in the description box below so you can go check it out. This box comes with two paper pads, two packages of ephemera, a 6x8 stamp set, a 4x6 stamp set, and a fun shaker mix from This Calls for Confetti. The box this month has a couple themes. On the left, those items kind of focus on a farmhouse Christmas, and on the right, it's a New Year's kind of sparkling party theme. Today, I'm going to be using goodies from the New Year's part of the kit. And now one thing to keep in mind with this, it comes with this stamp set that has lots of great sentiments for New Year's. I think this would also make a great set if you're a planner. As I get into the process and I bring in more products and tools, I will be sure to let you know what those are. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. I will also tell you during the process how you can hop along and enter to win a gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. Let's get crafty! I will be making two cards in today's video and I will be doing some stenciling on each. For that, I chose this Gina K Designs Bubblegum Pink ink. I thought it worked well with some of the pink in the ephemera. For my first card, I'm going to be using a homemade oval mask. And once I have my cardstock on my grid paper, I'm just using some painter's tape to hold the mask in place. To get started with the ink blending, I'm going to be going around the outside edges of the oval. And then eventually I do kind of blend into the center, but I did want to make sure that the edges were darker than the center. Once I had down good coverage with that first layer, I brought in Not Too Shabby's Bubbling Over stencil, which I did design earlier this year. At the time of recording, there were a few left. I will have it linked below if you want to check it out. I once again just use some painter's tape to tape this in place, and I go over those same areas with the pink ink. I thought that the bubbles kind of reminded me of champagne bubbles and later you'll see champagne in my stamp and in a piece of ephemera that I'm going to use. For card number two, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of masking before I bring in the bubble stencil. But for this one, I want to mask a strip to the left side of the card. Now for this, I just cut a couple scraps of printer paper and I am going to bring in the stamp I'm going to use, which reads, have a sparkling new year, kind of figure out how wide that is, and then put my pieces of paper in place so I can do some ink blending. Now because this is printer paper, you do want to be careful not to be too rough, but otherwise I do kind of the same thing where I come in from the edges and make the most ink concentrated right along the edge of my mask. Now once I have enough ink down, I bring in that bubble stencil again. And now while I finish that up, I thought I would tell you all about today's hop and giveaway. Like I mentioned earlier, I am just one of many artists who will be sharing projects using the latest items from Not Too Shabby in today's hop. 
Now, if you follow along, give each video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you like what you see at each stop. Then you can enter the raffle copter giveaway, which I do have linked in my description box below, and be entered to win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. To find all of the videos, you'll just have to use the hashtag that is up on screen now. You can click on it in my title or in description box to be taken to all of the videos. And you have until November 13th to enter and the winner will be announced on the Not Too Shabby channel. Good luck and happy hopping! Once my ink blended pieces were done, I moved on to the stamping. For this, I will be using the New Year Sentiment Stamp Set from the Box of the Month, Versamark ink, and some Detail Gold embossing powder. I'm going to start with the oval one, and the sentiment I chose for this one is Cheers, y'all. I thought it went well with the ephemera that I'm going to be using on it. Speaking of ephemera, I did bring that in so I knew where I could place my sentiment and still have that ephemera piece fit. Once that was done, I prepped my cardstock with my Tailored Expressions embossing powder tool, and then I got that inked up, stamped, and the powder poured on. Now, I probably needed to let my ink blended pieces sit a little longer. Some of the ink was still wet. To fix this, I just brought in a dry paintbrush and I brushed off as much of that excess powder as I could. For the second card, I got out the Have a Sparkling New Year Sentiment and I played around a little bit with the placement, but I did decide to put the sentiment toward the bottom, thinking that it kind of reminded me of the bubbles floating up from that. I did the same thing with prepping and inking up and stamping the sentiment and once again I did have a little excess powder but I just got that brush back out and took care of that. Once both pieces had powder on them I brought in my heat tool to set it and here's a close up look at those finished pieces. I just love the shine on that embossing. Now we're going to start putting these cards together. I die cut my oval piece with a stitched rectangle and I also got out a piece of faux glitter paper from the Sparkling Wishes paper pad and used a slightly larger stitched rectangle on that. I just love Not Too Shabby's faux glitter paper. You get the look of glitter but not the mess. Now since I do love it so much, I did cut a rectangle out of the piece that will be the mat because that will be hidden and then I'll have that leftover piece to use later. After my ink blended piece was matted, I added that to the front of a card base and then I brought in the ephemera piece I'm going to use, which I already had some foam tape on the back of, and some gold adhesive pearls. I thought that these would bring in more of the gold from the ephemera and the border and it once again kind of reminded me of some bubbles. I placed some around the ephemera and here's a close up look at the finished card. For the second card, I wanted to add some of that same faux gold glitter paper and to do this, I just wanted some strips on either side of my ink blended piece. So I trimmed I think a half an inch off my center panel and then I placed the gold glitter strips on each side of my card front. The ink blended piece got adhered flat down onto those, kind of centered as best as I could, and then I finished these off once again with some of those gold pearls. And here is a close up look at that finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these two quick and easy New Year's cards using the latest box of the month from Not Too Shabby. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to go visit all of the other artists in the hop and good luck in the giveaway. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.